few centuries ago, Thomas Jefferson sent a secret message to Congress asking for $2,500 so that Lewis and Clark could explore the uncharted West. And Jefferson sought the money quietly so that he wouldn't upset lawmakers who believed it was too costly because there were too many other domestic needs. Well, back then, no one could travel the vast distances out to the West Coast, and they couldn't even imagine a plane or a train or even an automobile. Well, it might seem trivial now, but that expedition led to our Western expansion, and it totally changed the face and the future of America. And much later in the 60s, President Kennedy had a similar vision, and it was America's destiny, he said, to explore the heavens. He said, if the history of our progress teaches us anything, it's that man in his quest for knowledge and progress is determined and cannot be deterred. He continued, the exploration of space will go ahead whether we join it or not. It is one of the great adventures, and no nation which expects to be the leader among other nations can expect to stay behind. That's what President Kennedy said, and in the years since, we have gone to the moon and beyond. Our space program has produced tens of thousands of scientists, mathematicians, engineers. It's helped make this nation one of the most advanced and powerful in history. And it's created hundreds of new companies and thousands of jobs for skilled workers. And it's dramatically improved the quality of life for millions here on planet Earth. It's the reason we have DISH TV, satellites that track hurricanes, mattresses made of memory foam, better cordless tools, modern medical miracles, such as kidney machines and ultrasound equipment. And with the Hubble Space Telescope, we're peering not only into space, but beyond the stars toward the beginning of time. If you saw director Ron Howard's film about the ill-fated Apollo 13, you might remember a scene in which a politician tells astronaut Jim Lovell that's being pay, played by actor Tom Hanks, Jim, in my state, people are asking why we're continuing to fund this program now that we've beaten the Russians to the moon. And you remember the response from Tom Hanks? Imagine if Christopher Columbus came back from the New World and no one ever returned in his footsteps. And that says it all. Today, decades after Alan Shepard blasted off into that suborbit on that little redstone rocket, we keep returning. Mindful of safety and cost, but determined to go forward, because we know exploration is necessary if our country is to remain a leader among nations. And this week marks the 25 years since the Space Shuttle Challenger explosion that claimed the lives of seven astronauts shortly after launch on January 28th, only 10 days after our crew on the Space Shuttle Columbia had returned to Earth. I can't help but wonder what advice the Challenger crew might have for today's space policymakers who are grappling with NASA's budget and saying that they can't build a new rocket to replace the shuttle on time. I wonder also what would President Jefferson or President Kennedy, what they'd have to say about bearing the cost of exploration, even given our other pressing needs. Well, last fall, in Congress, we passed a new law that provides for the development of a new big rocket to replace the space shuttle with the goal to fly it by 2016. The law also makes a significant investment in commercial space rockets to take crews and cargo to and from the International Space Station. Well, NASA must stop making excuses and follow this law. 
I believe that the best and brightest at the space agency can build upon the $9 billion that we've already invested in the advanced technology to design this new rocket. And I think that these pioneers in NASA can also take a stepping stone, pay-as-you-go approach. And so as we pause this week to remember the Challenger crew, I'm reminded of the great sacrifices by all the men and women heroes of our space program. The crew of Apollo 1 that was lost in the fire on the pad. The crew, certainly of Challenger, and then the crew of Columbia, gave their lives because they believed in the meaning and value of exploration. And it's with this in mind that we must push forward and keep America at the forefront of space exploration.